Learning more about what police encountered when they discovered the bodies of a couple in their Jenkintown home. Their daughter is now facing charges for murdering and dismembering them. Action News reporter Maggie Kent working the story for us and she's joining us with these new details. And Maggie, you've got more info on what officers witnessed and what it took to make this arrest. Yeah, Shari, it's just heartbreaking. Those officers are now uh, in training and in talks with each other about what they were seeing and what they experienced there just to make sure that they're OK as well. We spoke one on one with Chief Malloy today here at the Abington Police Department about exactly uh, what the woman who is now being held on murder charges had to say when they got inside. How do you go from no calls for service to probably one of the worst crimes that we have seen. Abington police got the call for a wellness check at 1165 Beverly Road, made by the son of the couple who lived there. Responding officers could not have imagined what was going on inside. What they discovered, you can't unsee that. A married couple in their 70s, Reed and Miriam Tony Beck, were found murdered and dismembered by a chainsaw. Their 43-year-old daughter, Verity, was inside as were three guns. Police knew they needed to approach with caution. They used drones. They, they threw in a camera, which was able to search most of the area. When they breached the door and made their way inside, Verity walked down the steps, hands raised. She just confirmed that her parents were deceased and was concerned about um, her, her cats and dog. They were the only words that she uttered. It's evident that the Becks had been deceased for some time. They were both shot once in the head. Whether they were sleeping or not, you just you just hope that they were. Now the community is reeling. Miriam Tony Beck was a school nurse for 20 years at Lower Moreland High School. Reed Beck was a retired training director of Steamfitters Local Union 420. Just a friendly, nice man who you know, when you you think about it today, you, you step back and reminisce. I mean, he he taught a generation of of apprentices. Understandably, it is really difficult for neighbors and friends to talk about the Becks in past tense. This is so sudden and so tragic, but there is a few stories that they wanted to share. One being that the Becks would go for a walk almost a daily every single day they were seen walking down the street holding hands. We're live in Abington tonight. Maggie Kent, Channel 6 Action News. Shari. Yeah, the details of that story are just so heartbreaking. Maggie, thanks. Tonight, family and friends.